All right. We're at Fort Clatsop. Yep. Another In Astoria. Lazy day kind of Astoria. Yeah, just outside. This is where Lewis and Clark. Yeah. Like. This was their like final fort, final stop on the uh, their expedition, and uh, then they, you know, from here explored the area and walked to the Pacific Ocean, which was, you know, basically the end of their uh, expedition. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be in the footsteps of Lewis and Clark. Yep, we'll explore the fort and then head to the sea. All right. Recreation. This isn't the original. What? I know. Sorry to burst your bubble. All right, here we go. Yeah. Much like one of the days Lewis and Clark would have been here. Yep. It was a rainy winter they were here. Yeah. It was a rainy summer day, but still. A lot of their entries are kind of miserable from yeah. this point. So I've done this hike once before, but it was sea to fort with my dad when my family camped around. Uh, Astoria, I believe on Fort Stevens uh, when I was in high school, but uh, yeah, as I said, that was sea to fort, and so now we're actually doing it as Lewis and Clark would do. Uh, of course, they would hike back up to the fort, so they did the sea to fort then, but the first one, the historic one, was fort to sea, so we're on our way to doing that. Are you Lewis or am I? I don't know. Are you Lewis or am I Clark? <laughs> Clark was the chronicler. And Lewis was the slightly uh, depressed captain. So I think that makes you Lewis. Once again, the most dangerous part of any hike, crossing the street. Lewis is helping us. It's safe. Yep. So now we were over here. Yep. Now we're over here. Now we are here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you're here for us. Yep, good camera moment there. We got some trail companions. <laughs> You know how we were saying earlier that we're being true to Lewis and Clark since it's raining? Well, it's continuing to rain. <laughs> there you go. It's coming down. And I'm wearing the perfect outfit for oh, yeah. rain and hiking. Yeah. So. But, let the record state I have not complained. That's true. I'm doing the majority of the complaining. But, this is Oregon. I think about four of our five hikes on this YouTube channel have been in the rain, so this is why it's as green as it is, so I can't complain too much, I guess. So uh, another interesting adventure about this, um, I think I got a little bit of the army guys uh, passing us uh, back a little bit. so. Back up there, didn't want to shoot it because, man, there could, we could have gotten in trouble. <laughs> but we hear, help, help, help. And we turn the corner and there's like, the army guys are like, you know, there's somebody on the ground and they're like trying to pin him down. And I, I, at first I thought, oh my God, is somebody having a seizure? Uh, and then I thought, well, you know, there's supposed to be bears around here. Did a bear attack somebody? <laughs> and then uh, Betsy's freaking out during this whole process. And then like one of the commanding officers comes up, I assume a commanding officer comes up and says, oh, we, this one platoon of ours stole a shirt from the other platoon and they're, they ambushed that platoon that stole the shirt and we're just taking it to them. But then of course, the super supreme commanding officer was, you know, like, you guys are still one, you know, army. And so they did push-ups and so that says we passed. Yeah. 
Betsy has been so skittish about the army soldiers behind us that she's now bombing down this hill. <laughs> this is the fastest I've ever seen her hike. <laughs> You know what I just thought about, Betsy, is what if we had beaten the soldiers to that ambush part spot? <laughs> Betsy would have not survived that attack. <laughs> Boy, let's get out of here before the T-Rexes show up. Ah! <laughs> that was actually really scary. <laughs> Boy, the camera's not doing this justice. It's pretty dark. This is like the Blair Witch Project. Yeah. This is more accurate lighting for this situation. We're getting there. We're wet, but we're getting there. Betsy is looking pretty wet. My feet are what's marinating in dung and sand. Yep, we're in the uh, cow pasture part of the trail. We're getting there. <laughs> Still all smiles. We're almost to the beach. We got like 0.3 miles to go and this parking lot, which is our indicator to say it that, uh, so we know that we're only 0.3 miles away. At that parking lot, we saw the army vehicle. So Betsy beat the army men. I mean, I'm not carrying an enormous pack. Yeah. And I didn't have to stop and do push ups. Yeah, but didn't have to handle an ambush <laughs> but still she was charging down and she beat him so well done Betsy beautiful yeah that's actually the most <laughs> impressive part you did it in sandals what's that phrase well we can modify it to doing it backwards in sandals These are officially adventurers' feet. These are probably exact replicas of what Lewis and Clark's feet really looked like on the on the trail. I'm sure they did. All right, we are back. We are. We have changed. We're out of our wet clothes, and adventure over. Yes, and it feels good to be done. 
Yeah. But it was pretty fun, and it was definitely a little bit Lewis and Clarky. Yeah. I mean, it was rainy, like it was when they were uh, staying at Fort Clatsop. There was an army there. Which, yeah. You know, they're not. They weren't army, but they were. They, they were, were an expedition, and they were, you know, you know, uh, probably had like US backed orders. Yeah. So. So. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Thanks for coming along.